So, welcome to the channel guys, it's Wednesday the 8th of May and I just wanted to show you what I was doing um, I have these all planted about a month now uh, These are Miserano uh, tomatoes So as you see they're pretty well established now, they're healthy um, I'm doing this year now, I'm putting up strings so I have the string here already planted in the ground. I'll show you what process I do with that. Um, but I have several varieties now this year. Uh, Purple Ukraine. He's a bit spindly looking. But that's supposed to be a Purple Ukraine as well. And he looks a bit healthier so we'll see. Um, I'm going to try and experiment with a few of these. Uh, put the feed into these and I'll water them as normal just to see how it works out. Uh, I've staggered these as well. So as you see, there's two here, and then there'll be one in the middle. So every, just gives them a bit more, and there's a volunteer lettuce, so I just let him grow. Um, yeah, but all these plants are looking pretty, pretty big now, they're starting to stretch. Um, Take off any of the little suckers. There's a few of them starting to pop out now. I get them real early. So, that is all the tomatoes on this side sown. Um, this side here, then, uh, Galena is the name of that. Different looking leaf on it, but it looks more like a potato leaf than a in a tomato leaf um, and I want to give a shout out to the guy that I get these off of I'll find it down here now uh, I believe he's in County Clare the west of Ireland so anything that grows down there um, yeah his website is there Fig, figleyfarm.ie I bought these seeds off of eBay. I got extra seeds in this box. So I got all these seeds off them. Uh, Galena, yellow. I'll just go through them here. Uh, middle flower. All heirloom seeds. There's more Galena. I got a lot of seeds off them. Uh, ones I haven't even used yet. Middle flower, purple Ukraine, uh, large deep red slash purple. Uh, got these as well. Rostebera, Rostebera, large pink tomatoes. As you see, I've only used half the seeds. He sent me so many of them, um, and fair play to him. Uh, Mezzerano, they're red plum tomatoes. Uh, Fia de Rio Gordo, uh, they're more again. Um, yeah, more than happy with, uh, with my purchase. And just to show you what kind of a guy he is, I got a thank you card and lots of little bits of information so you know yourself um, I think I only gave him 20 quid for all the seeds that I got which is absolutely fantastic um, so now I'm planting the next row uh, unfortunately I put in these strawberries and because there's nowhere else to put them, but if you look at that first strawberry, wow, monsters, absolute monsters. Um, so that's what I'm doing now is putting in these strings. Uh, find another one there that I need to do. So I don't know how I want to do this. I'll put it on my knee for a minute. I'll show you what I do. 
So I have my hollows already dug. And I'm going to make a little loop. Leave a bit of string spare. And down into the hole. And I shoved the stick into the ground sideways so that it's got a little bit of an anchor. I have a bit of a stone. I'll try that stone on top of it. A little bit of soil. I have to find a light. Yeah. That doesn't make a difference. Now, that's that. And then I'll just roll up my string, just like I've done there. And then I'll be planting these. So I'll stop in here for a second. So I'll just show you the planting process now. Um, there's nowhere to leave the phone down, so I've got to be doing this pretty much one handed. I like to plant these deep. I'll show you why in a minute. So he's in, he's below the soil level, well below it, maybe about an inch and a half, two inches. And I'll just leave him now, like that. And later on then, I can fill in some more clay around them, and that'll all be root zones. But for now, it's a little somewhere for water to puddle. So, you see that one there, he's down a little bit lower. He's purple Ukraine, very spindly looking leaves. Um, we'll see what they turn out like. But, um, very, very spindly looking. Compared to some of these other ones, which I just planted last night. Um, they're looking a lot more vigorous. In a couple of weeks, it'll be like that. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Uh, there's some cucumbers here as well. They're looking fairly happy. Uh, I transplanted them into bigger pots last night. Um, they don't do very well in the soil here for some reason. Yeah. And that's more Kempty flower. They're yellow heirloom cherry tomatoes. They're all looking pretty happy. Um, yeah, my father's turnips now. There's a few of them in the ground. They should all do pretty well. More strawberries. Uh, he's a line of cabbage sown there because it's very wet. <coughs> he couldn't make a drill. Rhubarb in the corner. Uh, I used to have a peach tree in here. Uh, with grapes. Grapes are looking pretty happy. I gave them a proper pruning last year. Cut them back just to a few stems and I'll probably take a few more off it. Um, they end up being very, very small. Uh, now they're tasty, but um incredibly small uh i'll probably take that leaf there away yeah, i'll do a proper job in there i don't want to just pull them out because i'll probably break the other one as well there you go so that's him one off uh, yeah so that's the situation here at the moment for some carrots to come up here. They might not come up because the seeds are out of date, I think. But, uh, you have some cabbage here, and it's all come up. So, and there's another little tray somewhere there. It's got cauliflower seeds, so they're all coming up. And of course, I have radishes. I'm going to forget about the radishes. Uh, they're coming up to get quite big. So, 
not a big fan of radishes myself, but I know others there are, so something's been nipping that down. Probably a slug. I don't use any um, fertilizers or any kind of insecticides in here. Um, I just leave it away. Uh, I'll come in at night and pick off the slugs if I see them. So that is that for today's video. Just a nice little short one planting some tomatoes and even just just taking stock and see what's in here, you know what I mean? Keeping an eye on it. So that's the crack. Uh, I'll leave you to that. A nice little short video for today. Alright, over and out.